I've never done a video on Google Earth and so I thought I would just introduce folks to Google Earth that have not experienced it yet and it is quite a great little product. Microsoft has a new product out as well. I've not tried it yet but the Google Earth is pretty awesome. When you start Google Earth you get this little screen here with the globe right in the middle of the screen. In the upper left hand corner you can simply type anything you want to type in there. It can be an address, it can be a zip code, it can be a place of interest. You want to put in New York City, New York. You'll see the globe rotate and then get you in on New York City. Now you can see I've got a lot of street names and a lot of blue dots there. Now we're going to talk about layers. Down here in the lower left hand corner you can turn off and turn on different layers of what, what you're viewing. So for example if I want to if I do not want to see the roads, I can just uncheck roads and the roads disappear. If I want to see 3D buildings, I can turn that on. We'll see that here in a minute. If I want to turn the weather on, I can turn the weather on. And you'll see the weather takes just a second to load. We're going to actually zoom out a little bit. To zoom, you come up in the upper right hand corner and then you can zoom out by going minus. So you can see the weather came in there on us. To zoom, you can use the scroll button on your mouse and scroll up or down to zoom in or out. Or in the upper right hand corner, you've got your little controls. I'm going to click the plus sign and we'll zoom in a little bit further on Manhattan. Or I can even click and drag this little guy here. To move the map, click anywhere on the map and just drag. I'm going to shut the weather off. The blue and yellow dots and the pink dots that you see are the purple dots. We're going to zoom in a little further right here into Manhattan are called the geographic web. And the geographic web is where people actually contribute pictures or information about a particular area. So here's Central Park, for example. And if I click on one of the little blue things, I get a little pop-up screen and it'll be a photograph of that particular area. And so there's the gates in Central Park. Looks like a winter photo, obviously. Now, if we zoom in a little bit further, a lot of folks think that these are live videos or live shots. They are not. They're only refreshed every, oh, every year or two in some cases, not even that often in other cases. Uh, some areas they do refresh a little more often. So you can see some 3D buildings here. Now the way for me to actually see these in 3D is again in the upper right hand corner I have a tilt and that's this left right here. So if I tilt to the side as you can see there I'm just moving my mouse to the right now I can see those 3D buildings. I'll keep tilting and now it's as if I'm there in Manhattan with a bunch of white buildings. But that's just a little bit on Google Earth. Remember to use the search box up here. You can type in anything, a point of interest. You can type in a zip code. You can type in a city. Don't type, I guess you could type in countries as well. And then down below, don't forget to use the layers. Layers allow you to add different amounts of data to the map. So by checking and unchecking those, you will be able to see more detail in the maps. And keep in mind also that Google Earth is a high speed application. You cannot use this with a dial up connection. It would just be way too slow. So if you haven't given Google Earth a try, give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. One last quick thing I didn't show you because I'm not much of an astronomer, but the new versions of Google Earth have a little button up here in the upper middle of the screen and it says switch between sky and Earth. And if I click that, I now get a picture of the sky and I can do the same things. I can rotate, I can look at stars and planets and all kinds of different things and get more and more information. So check out Google Earth. You can go to googleearth.com or just type in Google Earth at, at your Google search engine. It's a free download. It is a high speed application so make sure you have at least a strong DSL connection or faster.